Good morning, everyone. Hope everyone's doing well today. Hope that everyone is been very, very much in prayer this week, one for another. Most of all, I hope we've been still been much in prayer, praying for our lost, around about our community, neighbors and friends, definitely in our churches this morning. So we're certainly thankful for another opportunity, another time to be here and to be with you today. Still uh, miss not uh, getting to see everyone and to be with everyone in person. Hopefully here next, next week or so, and uh, hopefully we can maybe be thinking about trying to, to come back together and that. We'll wait and see there, but hopefully we can, we can get back to uh, having services gathering out together again. If you want to read along with us this morning, uh, over in the book of Acts, in the 8th chapter, and very, very familiar story in the Bible. Uh, we'll be starting down in the 26th verse here in just a few minutes, and I'll give you a few minutes if you'd like to be finding your place in your Bible at home this morning. I certainly encourage you to, uh, uh, to do that, if you can, to, to read along with us. Uh, but over in the book of Acts, in the 8th chapter, in the 26th verse there, this story is about Philip and the eunuch there, uh, trying to, to read and to pray uh, this story that come upon our heart and on our mind. Uh, just really the, the dedication that Philip showed here that he had uh, uh, to want to do uh, just exactly what the Lord asked of him. Uh, the Lord didn't give him all the details. I'll, I'll get to that here in just a little bit if the Lord will help me. Uh, but I, one thing that I want you to keep in mind this morning is that when the Lord sent Philip uh, down here, uh, the Lord didn't give him all the details. and He didn't tell him every, every little thing that was going to happen and how that it would take place. He just sent him there. And I, Philip being a willing servant and that of God, I, uh, Philip uh, gathered up his things uh, uh, and he made his, started making his way on his journey that today. Uh, uh, so you pray for me for just a few minutes this morning. I don't uh, uh, think that I'll be before you very long at all today. Uh, uh, but nonetheless, I want to do uh, uh, my very, very best uh, as always in that uh, uh, for the Lord this morning. And I hope and trust that the message today... Uh, uh, I'll be a help in that to someone. Uh, I'd love to, to get a phone call later on today. Uh, uh, somebody say that the Lord had touched them, uh, uh, that they'd been saved, or, or whatever that might take place. Uh, uh, so you pray today, uh, uh, church, as we gather into this service. Uh, but in the 26th verse, the 8th chapter in the book of Acts, uh, and the angel of the Lord spake unto Philip, saying, Arise. And go toward the south into the way that goeth down from Jerusalem unto Gaza, which is desert. And he arose and went, and behold, a man of Ethiopia, a an eunuch of great authority under Candace, queen of the Ethiopians, who had the charge of all her treasure, and had come to Jerusalem for to worship, was returning and sitting in his chariot. Read Isaiah's the prophet. Then the Spirit said unto Philip, Go near and join thyself to this chariot. And Philip ran hither to him and heard him read the prophet Isaiah, and said, Understandest thou what thou readest? And he said, How can I accept some man should guide me? Now this is the eunuch answering Philip back. He said, And, and he said, How can I accept some man should guide me? And he desired Philip that he would come up and sit with him. The place of the scripture which he read was this, he was led as a sheep to the slaughter, and like a lamb dumb before his shear, so opened he not his mouth, and his, in his humiliation his judgment was taken away. And who shall declare his generation, for his life is taken from the earth? And the eunuch answered Philip and said, I pray thee, of whom speaketh the prophet this, 
of himself or of some other man. Then Philip opened his mouth and began at the same scripture and preached unto him Jesus. And as they went on their way, they came unto a certain water. And the eunuch said, See, here is water. What doth hinder me to be baptized? And Philip said, If thou believest with all thine heart, thou mayest. And he answered and said, I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. And he commanded the chariot to stand still. And they went down into the water, both Philip and the eunuch, and he baptized him. And when they were come up out of the water, the Spirit of the Lord called away Philip, that the eunuch saw him no more. And he went on his way rejoicing. But Philip was found at Astus, and passing through, he preached in all the cities till he came to Caesarea. I'm going to leave off reading right there. I read through the end of the chapter, the 40th verse, and I, I, I know that a little bit of a lengthy reading this morning. I, uh, but you pray for just a few minutes. And I, I'll, I'll try my very best to, to get my thought across as the Lord give it to me uh, uh, this morning. Uh, uh, but I want to back up just a little bit. And I, I want us to talk for just a minute to think about uh, uh, where that we're at in this uh, particular time here in uh, uh, Philip's life. Now this is over in Acts. And, uh, as we all know, Christ has done been crucified. And, uh, uh, he's done risen that from the grave. And, uh, uh, he's left the disciples here and give them instructions to go out and to, and to preach and to teach. Uh, uh, but you back up into the seventh chapter here and you begin to read about uh, a man named Saul. And, uh, uh, we all know the story very, very well. Uh, uh, this man was later converted all over here in, I guess, the next chapter, the ninth chapter. Uh, uh, it's when Saul's uh, uh, converts and comes about. Uh, uh, and he, he becomes and his name Paul from that time forward. Uh, uh, but I, I want to talk about the time uh, uh, that Philip's living in right now uh, uh, and the rest of the disciples. Uh, uh, you see Saul. Uh, uh, you read about. Uh, uh, you, you start off here. Let me, let me read to you part of a verse here in the verse in, the, in the, uh, chapter 9. Uh, and Saul, uh, uh, yet breathing out threatenings and slaughter against the disciples of the Lord, uh, uh, went to the high priest. You see uh, uh, these men, Philip, uh, uh, the rest of them uh, uh, at this time, uh, uh, what they're facing. And I want you to think about that just a minute. Uh, uh, they're facing uh, a prosecution uh, uh, today uh, uh, from Saul. Saul in his heart. I don't want to really get into Saul or anything this morning, uh, uh, but I want to say this. I feel like at this time uh, in his life, he felt like he was doing what was right. Uh, uh, but, but I want to get to this today. Uh, uh, Philip uh, uh, and these old boys, uh, uh, they know the name of the Lord. They know who the Lord was. And, uh, uh, here comes this man. Uh, uh, you back up into the chapter before uh, uh, where that I uh, uh, read it to you there. And, uh, uh, they just stoned uh, over in the seventh chapter. They just stoned Stephen today uh, uh, for simply uh, uh, following the will of the Lord. Uh, uh, just simply going out uh, uh, and spreading the gospel about today. Uh, uh, so Philip here uh, uh, in this time that they're living in and uh, uh, the, the, the time that they're in today uh, uh, the angel of the Lord uh, uh, where I started reading to you there uh, uh, in the 26th verse it says the angel of the Lord spake unto Philip uh, uh, saying arise uh, and go toward the south uh, to the way uh, uh, that goeth down from Jerusalem uh, uh, to Gaza uh, uh, which is desert uh, uh, so uh, the thought that I had you pray for just a little bit this morning uh, uh, was Philip uh, uh, even though that times were uncertain uh, uh, and times were scary in that today uh, uh, he was still willing uh, uh, to do uh, uh, what God asked him to do today uh, uh, I thought about uh, uh, ever since uh, uh, the Lord gave us this scripture and when we get to read it uh, I thought about uh, uh, the time that we're living in right now today uh, uh, how that it's a scary time to some of us in that uh, uh, how that it's an uncertain time uh, uh, with all the things uh, uh, that are going on around about us today uh, uh, but nonetheless uh, uh, this is another reminder to us uh, uh, that God uh, uh, is still in control uh, uh, still in charge in that today uh, I guess uh, I just want to encourage the church today uh, uh, to be mindful of that uh, uh, that when the Lord speaks into our heart this morning uh, uh, that we uh, uh, will be willing in that uh, to go and do what the Lord puts upon her heart. In that 26th verse, it doesn't say anywhere that Philip said, 
why me? Why do I have to go? Doesn't anywhere in it does he say, Lord, I'd like to go to a safe haven. I'd like to just bury my head and I'd just like to uh, just, to, just to hide at night this morning. I, uh, but the scripture, uh, uh, plainly, you go down into the 27th verse and it says, uh, and he arose and went. Uh, uh, that just means that Philip, I believe with all of my heart, uh, uh, when the old angel there uh, uh, came and spake unto him, uh, I began to uh, tell him tonight to go. Uh, uh, he just got up, uh, uh, gathered uh, uh, his things up. Uh, uh, he went on his journey and that today. Uh, uh, he didn't know uh, uh, that they would be a man. Uh, and I've done a little uh, uh, research and reading about this unit. Uh, uh, this story doesn't just stand. Uh, uh, you go and you begin to dig into your history. And that today, uh, I begin to study out about this unit. Uh, uh, the story just doesn't end. Uh, when him and Philip depart, uh, uh, he leaves and goes his way. And that today, uh, you begin to read into, uh, into the scripture, uh, uh, into, into the history books. Uh, there was a man uh, that it says that went back into this country, uh, this nation, uh, uh, where the tell eunuch was from. Uh, uh, he went back into that country and uh, uh, began to preach the gospel today. Uh, uh, you see, uh, uh, God down there uh, uh, had a purpose uh, in where he was sending Philip today. Philip didn't know what he might find along the way or who or anything, but he knew the voice of God. He knew the voice uh, when God's angels spoke to him. Uh, he knew the urgency. He knew the need that there was uh, uh, to follow and obey the Lord this morning. Uh, uh, and I encourage you this morning uh, uh, the time that we're living in uh, uh, I still believe uh, I want to encourage you to think this morning uh, uh, differently than this this morning I still think uh, uh, this, this uh, situation in time that we're living in right now uh, uh, that we need to be cautious uh, uh, we need to use uh, uh, our good common sense that the Lord has given us this morning uh, uh, but I also believe this morning that God's in control God's capable of everything this morning. And we need to be willing this morning. Church people, church family, and church loved ones, we need to be willing. Those of us that are saved and are Christians, and those of us that have our names recorded in the Lamb's Book of Life this morning, huh? we need to be mindful now huh? of what the Lord's done for us. And we need to be willing huh? uh, when the Lord calls and speaks to us this morning. Huh? Uh, that we're willing uh, uh, to go and do that this morning. Uh, and there may be some sitting here uh, in their homes today uh, uh, listening to this thinking, uh, uh, well, preacher, uh, uh, God or no angels come and uh, uh, tell me anything to do this morning. Uh, uh, well, let me ask you to examine yourself this morning uh, for just a minute. Uh, uh, first, are you in the place uh, uh, that you could be of some help uh, uh, to someone this morning? Uh, uh, if you encountered somebody, uh, they stood in need this morning I uh, have uh, some advice in the gospel this morning uh, uh, this man, this unit uh, uh, he had his uh, uh, Bible out uh, uh, the scripture plainly tells us here uh, uh, he was reading uh, uh, the scriptures this morning uh, uh, but he didn't understand this morning uh, he didn't know what he was reading about this morning uh, uh, that's where that Philip come into place today uh, Philip just being an old Old preacher man, we'll call him this morning. You read on down into this, this chapter here. Well, he just picked right up where this man was reading, where this eunuch was reading. And I, he began to preach him the gospel. And, I, and he can say it I, over here in the 35th verse. I, I, and preached unto him, I, uh, Jesus, this morning. And I, I listen, I, I, the message is still the same today I, as it was for the eunuch. I, I, when Philip was t uh, uh, preaching to him this morning, uh, uh, the message is still the same today. Uh, uh, it's Jesus this morning, uh, and he is the only way this morning. I've preached this to you before. Uh, the way don't change. Uh, it's us that change so many times. The gospel's still the same today as it was then. Uh, and if time goes on, I don't know how long time will go on. Uh, 
I'm not asking the Lord, and it wouldn't have been any good to ask him, because the Bible plainly tells me uh, uh, and teaches me, uh, uh, not even the angels in heaven this morning uh, uh, know uh, uh, when that time will come. So if it goes on for another 2,000 years, uh, uh, it'll still uh, uh, be preached the same. Uh, it'll be preached Jesus today, uh, uh, that he is the way, uh, and he is the light this morning. Uh, anything else, you better leave alone. Ain't that good what Philip said? Uh, Philip opened his mouth and began at the same scripture, right where this eunuch was talking about. Uh, you go back, that scripture, that eunuch was reading, comes out of the book of Isaiah. Uh, Isaiah was prophesizing that to the people about Jesus Christ coming. Uh, well, Philip went right back to that scripture in Isaiah where this man was reading and began to preach to him and explain to him uh, uh, that this lamb uh, uh, that was being taken uh, uh, back to the slaughter uh, uh, was Jesus this morning. That uh, he died for our sins today. That he died for you and I. Now, I won't touch, and I'm going to come to a close here in just a few minutes. Like I said, I don't believe that I didn't believe at all that I'd be before you here as long as far as sometimes. This old eunuch, I, I, I got curious there, and I, I began to, I thought, I wonder, I wonder if I can find a little history about this man. Like I said, it don't, here it just refers to him as, as the eunuch, it don't, I'll give you a whole lot of information about him. But I began to go back and I began to, to research it a little bit. Back through history and some records that they had. And they was a man that was a eunuch. Uh, they was a man and he's, he's recorded in that going back into this country that they're talking about here. Going back into this land. Uh, uh, they was a man that had went on a trip and he came back. <laughs> a new creature. <laughs> He came back and he began to preach the gospel. And the same gospel that was preached to him in the back of the chariot on the side of, on the, on the water's edge over there by a little preacher man named Philip that same scripture and that, that same spirit that bear witness to him. He began to preach that to his people in his home country and his people in his, his land. His family friends began to preach to them the gospel. And from there there was churches set up and formed and the gospel went out. The gospel went out. I'm not telling you that you've got to move to a strange land. God tells you you better pack your bags and get you a passport. That ain't what I'm telling you this morning no. But if God says that's what to do, I'll, I'll advice I can give you well, we'll see you later somewhere. But you'll have to go if that's what God wants. What I'm saying this morning, what I, what the point and the thought that I've had this morning is this, is that we need to be very, very mindful in that today, the, the time that we're living in. We need to be mindful in that and willing in that this morning. We need to be concerned about our brother this morning. Church. Uh, Philip didn't know this man. This man was a, I'm just, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say that he looked a little different than what Philip was accustomed to. Philip didn't care. God certainly didn't care this morning. Um, God certainly didn't care this morning. God created all of us this morning. We need to be mindful of that. God didn't make any mistakes in any of his creation anymore. Man, down through time, we've made a lot of hiccups and a lot of mistakes by interfering in God's plan. But God, do you remember that this morning? God didn't make any mistakes this morning. God created mankind this morning. We need to be mindful of that. We need to love our neighbor. And we need to love the, the people that we come in contact with this morning. We need to let them, let them see that there's something different about us Christians this morning. We need to let them see this morning 
uh, that tells something about them, huh? uh, that, uh, that, that makes them curious and makes them begin to search and to seek help this morning. Huh? Uh, this man, uh, uh, this eunuch, uh, uh, he'd been to Jerusalem. Uh, uh, he, he says here that he was reading the scripture. Uh, but somewhere down their time, uh, uh, they've been somebody, I believe, with all my heart this morning. Uh, and this is just me uh, uh, preaching to you today. Uh, uh, but I believe somewhere down their time, uh, they come in contact uh, uh, with a Christian somewhere or another uh, uh, that showed some kindness to him. And uh, uh, that he's seen something. Uh, he had heard something today uh, uh, that got him interested in the gospel. He left his country, his home where he was from to go to Jerusalem to worship down there. He was reading scripture that he didn't understand. He was searching for something this morning. and He just needed a little guidance. He just needed somebody to explain just a little bit. He just needed somebody to show him <laughs> the Holy Ghost this morning what that spirit was all about uh, uh, you think about that uh, they've done been some work they've done been some preparation from somebody somewhere uh, had done went into this before Philip ever showed up I don't know when it was. This man, he could have been when he was a child. He could have been a week, two weeks before, a month, two months before. I don't know this morning. Uh, but this man had heard something. He had seen something that got his interest this morning. And he thought, I want to see what this is about. I want to, I want to see what this being a Christian is about this morning. I, I want to see what this Jesus is about. I, I want to see what this... God, his father this morning. I, I want to see what this is about this morning. I, I, so he, he made preparation. Uh, and he went on a trip and that this morning. He went to Jerusalem down there. Uh, to want to see what it was about. A lot of you here at church have heard mom tell this story before. Back several years ago here in Bible school. We, we take so much for granted here where we live. For instance, our Bible this morning. There was a little boy that came here back several years ago and attended Bible school with us one summer that week. And he was visiting uh, some family that lived here in our community. My mind serves me correctly. Anyway, they some, some friends, some, some folks that invited these kids and they, they came along. That little boy, as the week went on, Mom said that he came to him one night, and he said, I want to know where I can get one of those books. Said she looked at him, and she said, what are you talking about? Young man said, uh, said what, what book are you talking about? He said, I want one of them books that you have been reading and teaching me about Jesus about. I, I want one of them books that's got the gospel in it this morning. I, I want one of those books this morning. Where can I get one? Uh, we take that so much for granted this morning. And that happened right here in our little community. Right here in our little church this morning. Uh, there's a lot of statistics out there this day and time that we're living in. There's so many people out here in this day and time. And right here we don't have to go very far to find them that, that don't even know. You can, you can ask them, do you go to church or or anything like that. There's a lot of people that you'll ask, you'll say, uh, do you believe in God? And they'll, they'll, they'll nod their head. They've heard about God or, or in some form or fashion this morning. But when you really get down, huh, and you really begin to question them this morning huh, as to whether or not they know Jesus Christ, huh, whether or not they attend church, huh, uh, just all these different things this morning. I don't know what you're talking about. Now that's right here in our community. That's right here in our, our backyard, our back door this morning. Like I said, I don't know who the, who the message is for or anything like that this morning. That's, that's none of my business. Uh, but I encourage us this morning. I just had to follow the Lord and do what the Lord puts upon our heart this morning. But I encourage us this morning. We've, we've not been here gathered in. This will make, I guess, the third Sunday. 
And if we're not real, real careful, boy, we'll get really, really relaxed with the way things is going. Uh, we can get up on, on Sunday morning, we can, we can flip that old Facebook link on, and uh, we can sit there and we can, we can watch a little TV, and we can eat a little breakfast, and uh, we can have that plan, uh, uh, the message, or the Sunday school lesson over in the background, and uh, uh, we get done with this, and we can flip on, uh, <coughs> excuse me, we can, <coughs> we can uh, flip on uh, Brother So-and-So's message somewhere else, and, have it going over here on the side. But if we ain't real, real careful this morning, we'll get content. We'll get out of fellowship with God this morning. I encourage you not to do that. I encourage us to be mindful this morning. Notice our surroundings this morning. Notice the people that are around us this morning. I'm not telling you to go up here to the Christian bookstore and buy you a trunk load of Bibles and to hand them out and thump everybody that you see on the head with one of them as you give it to them. Now, if the Lord tells you to go buy you a trunk full of Bibles and hand them out, do that. What I'm saying is this morning, let's be aware of our surroundings. And let's be willing this morning that when the opportunity comes and arises, the Lord will give us opportunities if we're looking for them and if we want them this morning. And the Lord will give us something to do if we'll ask Him if we'll get in the shape that we can, that we can do something for Him this morning. Uh, but let's be willing this morning. And uh, let's be concerned and out about our neighbors, our friends this morning. I say, well, preacher, I don't know my neighbor. I don't, I don't know who they are this morning. Well, stop by one evening this week and say hi to you. You won't have to go in the house and sit down and have a meal with them. Just stop by and say hi to you. I live up the road here. If you ever need anything, give me a call. Uh, Show them that you care this morning. Show them some compassion this morning. I love you out of the bottom of my heart. And I'm going to come to a close this morning. And many of you have done already know, but I want to encourage you to still be very, very much in prayer for Robert and Eula. Uh, this is, we're recording this uh, message on Saturday afternoon. We got worried uh, about an hour before I come over here to do this. Uh, uh, Robert uh, has had the stroke and uh, uh, that they both of them, they're, they're sick, but Robert, Robert uh, really, really stands in need of, of, uh, of our prayers this morning, him and you. Dear people to me, people that I love, and these others, I don't want to begin to, to mention names, but like I said, they called, some of them did just before we come. I wanted to make sure that we requested prayer for them, so I certainly wanted to do that. But there's many others here in our community that are sick, uh, this virus that's going on right now, some of them uh, a lot more serious than others this morning. Let's be very, very much in prayer for them. Let's remember all of our churches. Let's be much in prayer for them this morning. Uh, let's be very, very much in prayer for our, for our preacher brethren and our sister churches this morning. Uh, that we can all come together this morning. That we can all uh, see the lost saved this morning. That we can share that one with another this morning. I love you and I appreciate you. Uh, if you don't have anything else to pray for, you can pray for your little old pastor. Uh, but let's most of all, let's remember the lost this morning. Amen. You have the message. We'll talk to you later. Bye.